Good day, I'm your humble narrator, Sideways Thinker, and I'm just here with... Ma! You fucking dick. <laughs> Say your name. I'm a goat now. Say your uh, fucking name! I'm Egg, also known as the Egg Scrambled Gamer. How's it going, guys? Good! Okay. And we're here with some more Starbound. You may notice there have been a couple of changes to the house. Whee! Got some doors. Got some chests. I'm gonna do garden work in the meantime. Mm, yeah. Because I- gardening work is everything about this game. Do we have enough to make a cooking table? Uh, I have the one crafting table. I've never actually inventory. crafted one of those myself. So it takes, like, a ton of wood, and I, I think that's all it needs, though, so... I'm gonna get to work on that, because I wanna see what I could grow as a glitch- what I could make as a gr glitch. I've never cooked anything as a glitch. So, well, since right now you're doing some fucking gardening work, and I'm... Well, expanding the base. Yes. It occurs to me that, uh, well, it occurred to me, I was, I was talking to you about this earlier, that perhaps we should take an idea from a, a Mr. Yahtzee Croshaw in terms of uh, how to handle this Let's Play, and that is take something from his Drownouts. By the way, are you just standing there doing nothing? Uh, oh, I need four copper. I was wondering why I couldn't build that. I was trying to figure out why I couldn't build this, uh, the cooking table, ah, okay. and I found out I apparently was a blind man and just wasn't seeing the thing that I clearly needed. Also, I need food before too long. Yeah, we're gonna take kind of a kind of kind of some uh, advice. Well, not some advice, but rather we're gonna basically we're gonna nix part of a farmer idea from Mr. Benyati Croshaw because especially while we're just building things, this game can become quite slow. But as can basically every game in this kind of genre, it can get very slow when you're just actually building. It can be very engrossing when you're playing it, but it's not exactly interesting to watch. You know? Just oh yes. Build up a build up their own little survival hut. It's not the most interesting thing to watch. So, what uh, I advise we do is we have, um, when we know we're going to be spending a video, mostly um, arson around, um, and you know, arson around building around. stuff, I um, thought we'd uh, bring up some topics. So, uh, I've got a couple of topics. Um, my first topic, topic of the day, is the advantages of being a PC gamer over a console scrub. Yes, indeed. So, so do you want to just start off with facts? Uh, how, how are we handling this? We probably should have talked about that beforehand. Um, well, it's a co well, you know, Egg, we've got this weird thing down in England, we call it conversation. <laughs> oh, really? I've, I've never heard of it. What is this conversation? It's where people, it's where people talk to each other without vomiting the, spa the Star Spangled Banner all over each other. But, I really love- Oh, say can you say say Oh, nice. Yeah, good work making that furnace down there. Yeah, this is a crafting room, storage room. Oh, you little fucking... <laughs> no, you got it. Oh, shit. Um, add me to a party and make me party leader. Oh, yes. One sec. Um, Keep I'm forgetting this. Some... What's your name again? Templar. Templar. Okay, I'll have to remember that. Templar. Hooray. Okay. For a second, I was worried I misspelled it when you didn't uh, make me. immediately accept. We need to get... We need to get... Make me party, king. We need to get seven more copper ore. Make me click on you and make make the king of Yay! all. I am You're the king of queens, like that weird TV show. But uh, that show fucking sucks. But yeah, so <laughs> I don't know about you, Egg. But uh, I'm actually I'm gonna. There's there's no point in me going outside at night time. I'm yeah, I, I'm thinking I'll work on the mine shaft while we discuss this uh, PC versus console thing. How about we both work on the mine shafts? Because then we both okay. And today, one for once, we'll actually be you know, both working on the same job. So. <laughs> I know, yeah, seriously. Because we never, literally, what happens in our own save, ladies and gentlemen, is um, Egg looks after the base and I go off doing fun stuff. <laughs> hey, my stuff is fun. The gardening. Oh, shit. We need to get some planks first. I've got uh, 300. Side note, my torch has... penetrate the floor. <laughs> you penetrated the floor? Yeah, look. Whoops. Okay, we'll be, we'll be fine. We just need I can't to. Go through these... I can't go through this wall. I can go through this wall and deck it. What the fuck is go. that? Did you find something? Like a monster man? Yeah, but d dude, fucking get down here. The monster man. Oh, wait, I'm gonna starve to death. I should have checked my health. Holy cow, those are like freaking blastoises. But they don't have like guns on their back. It's a fucking eye, dude. Wait, what? Its head is just like an eye. I do not see that. We might be seeing two different monsters, because its head is definitely not an eye to me. He looks like an alligator to me. Huh. 
I do. Wait, like, apparently... do you see a monster who's an alligator with, like, a, a war turtle shell on his back? No, I see a, a yellow dude with a- You fucking dick. We're gonna fight all these guys. We gotta kill them all. <laughs> I'm building the mine shaft. The mine shaft has, has to go straight down, so... Dude, I don't have a fucking weapon. I don't have a weapon on me. And I like you don't have a weapon? Oh, God. Okay, flash your, your light. I'm coming to save your life. I can't. I'm being chased. Save your life. Okay, that, that was my bad. <laughs> There's no denying that, and you I apologize. Fucking! <laughs> I've got my bow. Yeah. Can, oh yes. Got us some more meat. Uh, no. Yeah, none for you, cause you're oh. a. I'm almost dead. I've got no health. Okay. Yeah. Those guys are not friendly. Yeah. I'm gonna die in one hit, so I better be able to kill these uh, war turtle crocodiles. At the very least. Well, we know one thing now. Ouch. We know What's one. That? We know one thing. We see different monsters. I know, I thought up until this point we always saw the same ones, because haven't we mentioned that some Yeah, of them have we've always mentioned similar? the same monsters, but apparently no, we see different monsters. That's 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 weird. Yeah, that is <laughs> really got... weird. By the way, you we'll need... have to test that with a couple of other ones or something just uh, to make sure. There are two types of monsters down here, right? Yes. Can you see up in this up in that corner? Yes. Uh, for me he's yellow man with spikes on his hands. You see He's yellow for me, but he's got that weird evil grinning face. Okay, his face is not grinning for me. That is so weird! I like elements- Okay, the other things with like the shells on the backs, what yes. color are they? Uh, I think they're purple? Let me get my flash- Yeah, they're like pink purple. That's for weird, because for me they're blue. That is so- For me their body is blue! <laughs> like... No, that's what I'm talking about. Their, their, their body is blue and then they've got this kind of purple- Oh, eye. but the shell is also blue. No, for me, the shell is, um, is it black and yellow? Okay, yeah, we're different enemies I, for we, sure. Okay, you know what? This is actually giving us a reason to watch each other's POVs. I know, seriously, especially on top of that. I, I it, we, you'll look at mine, and then you'll find out, like, I've been trolling you this whole time, and you'll be like, fuck you, Egg. <laughs> are you lying? No, I am I am not lying at all. Because if, cause you, you, do know, cause you, you do know what will happen if you were lying to me, right? You'll send... I figure out where you live. I'll leave for that. Have I told you where I live? No. I oh. think you're at like, a university and that's about all I know. We... Oh, well, yeah, yeah. Not for very long, though. I uh, found a different flashlight. Or anything, but it's almost summer. You found a different flashlight? I found a different flashlight. Oh my god, I've never seen flashlight drops. Um, where is it? Was there a treasure chest? How'd you find it? Oh, there is! One hidden under the depths of oh, the ocean. Oh my god, I think it does a green light. Oh, that is really let's go, let's cool. Let's go somewhere dark. Let's get somewhere Not very valuable, but pretty damn cool. Come with, come with me, Egg. Oh my god, it totally does! Oh, that's awesome! Oh, look at awesome. those monkeys. That thing looks like he's wearing a helmet. I see monkeys with eyes on their tails, which is pretty creepy. Okay, let's see now. Okay, just a minute. I'm gonna quickly do what I call uh, a shot in the dark. Excellent. Oh, you got one! They've got like on okay on mine. They've got like you know those oh um, God, those hats, those like joke. helmets that you can have like drinks on the side of and a straw. <laughs> like the beer, the yeah, beer hats. They're like wearing those, but they're on fire. Oh Jesus Christ, that's on fire! It's weird, and they sound Die, monkey horses. They sound like monkey horses. Yeah, they did sound like monkey horses to me. They're like. <laughs> what color were they? Uh, they were orange for me, I believe. Okay, okay, you know what's getting freaky? Is it their us? Bo their bodies are the same <laughs> color. We've been seeing the same body color. <laughs> and same, I think, well, they were bipedal, right? They walked on two legs, yeah? Yes, yes. Okay, we've been seeing the same, I think we've been seeing, like, the same... ...category and color of creature, but not the same actual, like, legit animal. Yeah, that's really weird. <laughs> oh god, I've only got one piece with of With a green coal. torch makes this so fucking creepy. Do you have any... What? Uh, shoot, I don't have any normal wood either. Did we make a tree garden yet? No, we did not. Okay, we'll need to make one of those, because I need some more unrefined wood to make more torches, but then on top of that, I just need more torches in general, because I've only got... I've, freaking, got, um... I've got a lot, I've got like a hundred odd bits of unrefined wood, but I've got no coal. Okay, yeah, I only have one coal, so we are like super low on that stuff right now. Uh, pop out neat. You know what that sounds like to me? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I think we can. I think we can put. I don't have any unrefined wood. Can you try putting unrefined wood in the furnace? I think it's unrefined wood that you need to put in to make coal. 
Or, yeah, it's definitely not wood planks, because that just didn't work. Yeah, I'll try. Why don't we, uh... That's what we should have done in our in our off-camera multiplayer play whenever we needed coal. Just use okay, the trees! Just, okay, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, that works. Unrefined wood. Oh, Ten unrefined yeah. wood to one bit of coal, though. Oh, God. So Okay, we uh, really need to get a tree garden going, then. You know what else we need to do? What? Well, I need to snooze and wait for the day. Yeah, I should probably do that as well. Go away, Skype noises. I've got, like, the boop, boop. But, yeah, let's actually talk about that topic now. Yeah, so, yeah, back on <laughs> yeah. topic. So, I don't know about you, but myself, although I do play consoles from time to time, um, in recent years, and by recent years I mean the last five years, like, I spent all of my fucking childhood playing, like, basically just consoles, right? Yes. All the time, every, all day, every day, just consoles. Like, all the way and up- every- In fact, all the way night? up to the Xbox 360. When uh -huh. that first came out, I was all console gamer. How, as much as I hate the term gamer, it's the only thing I can think of right now. That'll be easily understood. But I just played consoles, and that was it. Um, I'm fine with the term gamer. I'd, because, I, I mean, I kind of yeah. feel like that's what I am, but, yeah, I, you know. It sounds kind of... Okay. Fuck it. New topic, because I enjoy talking about why I dislike the term gamer. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, number one. I know this is going to sound weird, but it's kind of inherently American. Whoa, are you sure we didn't make a tree garden? No, those are just some trees. Oh, okay. Well, let's chop all those down and move them uh, up here. That'll be nice. Or at least, like, half of dude, them. We don't need to, dude, we don't need to. I've got, like, 20 saplings. Ah, oh, well, okay. I'll just chop them, to, chop them down to get the wood right now anyway, so I can yeah, make yeah. more torches. But I, I, uh, I like but... the term gamer, because I, I always find it feels, like, slightly inherently American. Okay. Because... I can understand that just because it's, like, not the most creative way to say you're no, no, someone no, no, who no, loves that's, games. That's, you're that's just not... like, I'm a gamer. That's not what I mean. Oh, okay. You see... What do you think when you think gamer, or more specifically gamer culture? Okay, so I presume you're going into the whole Call of Duty thing. No. Oh, no. Okay. When I hear gamer culture and gamers, keep going about your fucking business. Um, when I hear gamer culture and gamers, I think Nintendo, I think Mario, I think the NES, I think old Final Fantasy, I think BitTunes. You know, that's what I picture. Mm-hmm. I picture, you know, Zelda and Mario and Nintendo, essentially. I picture, a, 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 you know, a, a Nintendo jokes and, you know, people in their, like, early 20s who play mm -hmm. who grew up playing Mario. That only is a thing, really, for the most part, in America. There are some, there are a few people, I will grant, who grew up in the UK, you know, people who, you know, would call themselves gamers, who grew up in the UK playing Mario. However, mm -hmm. Nintendo was not pop was not really successful in England mm -hmm. or in Europe. We grew up with Sega, and more than Sega, yeah, Sega. <laughs> more than Sega, I'm a Sega kid. More than Sega, we grew up with PC gaming. England's, uh -huh. yeah, England's major, like, or Britain's major gaming thing was we had this. I'm dead, by the way. We had this oh, no. huge. Um, I think it was before I was born, but we had this big um, PC gaming. Um, kind of revolution, like home computer revolution in the late eighties. And oh, Jesus Christ! And that's where a lot of our, you know, you know, and it was mostly people within the within the country who ran it. It was like an entirely English thing, and that, like, I think when I think like British gaming culture, I think a hell of a lot more like Ashens. Like what? Ashens and like the Commodore sixty four. Okay, okay. Kind of ugly old shit that barely works. <laughs> it's kind of I think. And Sega. I like how that's how you describe it. Sony. And shit like that. I don't think Nintendo. Like, the whole Nintendo thing being, you know, Nintendo and Pixel Art being gamer culture is very American. That's very much mm -hmm. kid. That's Nintendo kids. That's what I always picture when I hear that. Mm -hmm. I'm not part of that in any way, shape, or form. Not just because I'm English, but also because that's not what I play. Mm -hmm. I play PC strategy games more than anything else. See, for me, uh, at least how I stand on it, is that... It doesn't really affect me much at all, because... Oh yeah, it doesn't affect me that it exists. It's just, you know, it's it's something that... Oh god. It's just my uh, opinion. Thank you for handling that. I mean, I don't really have... A, well, plus, then there's also the other thing, is that why the fuck do we need a term for people who play games? 
Yeah, like that. That's the thing that I was going we to mention because people. especially nowadays we have so many terms for basically everything regarding games, and it just like gets a little bit clustered. You know, it's it's hard to specify what something is anymore because we have a million terms for everything now. You know, do we, do we have a term? Nothing is just a strategy game. It's now yeah. a strategy rogue rogue like side scrolling adventure or something yeah, like that. Yeah, you know. Yeah, well, that's a different thing. That's the fact that everything's been genre, but like. Do we have a Yeah, no, that is a different topic, but I, I feel like they do kind of relate, uh, yeah, at least yeah. a little bit. But do, do we have a term for, say, people who watch films? Ooh, silver. No, because everyone watches films. That is a good point. Do we have a term for people who listen to music? No, because everyone listens to music. Do we have a term for people who read? No, because everyone should be reading. <laughs> I know. Less and, be less and less people read nowadays. I, I'm actually one of the people who's guilty of that, uh, because, like, the thing that I probably read most nowadays is comic books. Um, okay. and not much of anything okay. else. Can I just quickly be a bit elitist here? Uh, sure, go ahead. I've just reached over and grabbed a book that I have to hand. I'm gonna read a couple of bits out of it. Then I'm gonna tell you what the book is. In level ground, occupy a position which facilitates your action. With heights to your rear and right... The field of battle is to the front and the rear is safe. I'm gonna skip forward. When troops are strong and officers weak, the army is insubordinate. When the officers are valiant and the troops ineffective, the army is in distress. Forward again. If you can raise fires outside the enemy camp, it is not necessary to wait until they are started inside. Set fires at suitable times. Um, and just jump back a couple of pages here. It is thus not sufficient to place one's reliance on hob hobbled horses or burnt chariot wheels. That was. May I may I throw out a guess really quick before yes, you yes, say what that is? Is that the art of war? That is Sun Tzu's The Art of War, which okay. I have read about three times now because I really enjoy reading Sun Tzu's The Art of War. How, how long is it? Not very. <laughs> really? <laughs> um, yeah, and like the copy I, the edition I have, um, there's a like a hugely long like kind of historic like information on how this version, like the context in which it was written. Um, the fact that Sun Tzu isn't actually a guy, but rather it seems to be like an amalgamation of people that are just oh. operating under a pseudonym as opposed to one guy. That's um, pretty cool. Like what people think Shakespeare might have been. Yeah. And, except this is basically historically b proven that it's not one guy. Whereas oh, okay, the epic okay. is, um, I don't know about bollocks. I, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, everyone, everyone really knows that. I mean, it's basically common knowledge that everyone knows that Shakespeare was the midget who hid in uh, Abraham Lincoln's hat. Yeah, clearly. Get out of there. Oh, God. Monkeys, get out of here. See, for me, these are barring rabbits. <laughs> With so we, we never had this problem before. I know. Oh, it's weird. <laughs> <laughs> that is so By the way, so I'm going to be fucking double-checking your P.O. fucking V, and if they are fucking with me right now, I swear to God, I will kill you. I, then, honestly, I will say that kind of makes me wish I was fucking with you, but but I'm not. I'm not. Yeah, but um, I will check your POV to see what see if I'm fucking with you. Seen, <laughs> and that, of course. Um. Um. But yeah, I I read a lot. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like I, I I wish I read more. I, I and honestly, the really bad thing for me, uh, like in in regards to what I do is I don't really expand with books. I more just reread. The couple of favorite books I have, like oh, um, I my two favorite books of all time, are *One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest* and uh, oh. *Do Androids Dream of Electronic Sheep*, which is like okay. a freaking masterpiece. I didn't masterpiece. know *One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest* was a novel, so that's fucking news to me. <laughs> oh my god, it is. The movie is great, but the book, cost but like movie, basically cost everything, movie's the great. Book is it's got better. Jack fucking Nicholson. Uh huh. Yeah. Nurse ratchet. Ah, get off of me, monster man. Wow, this is serious lag. They were going like slow mo. But, uh, sorry, my internet's been acting up today. I had <laughs> no to problem. To ring the fucking internet company about it. It was ridiculous. Kept switching off and on again. Um, Ooh, that's that, off. Ladies and gentlemen, for those you do not know, Cyber Stinker has internet trouble. <laughs> have, have, have you ever seen, speaking of those two books though, have you ever seen Blade Runner? Yes. You should definitely read. I'm Do not sure what my sheet. opinion of Blade Runner is. <laughs> what? Oh, you not, don't know what your opinion is. I'm not certain. I kind of. I. Eh. You you should totally read Do Androids, especially then. You should definitely read Do Androids Dream of Electronic Sheep because the funny thing is, the book and the 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 book and the movie are close to identical for the first like 
one third for the first half of the movie and the first one third of the book. From that point on, they are nothing alike. Like their stories completely change. And the thing that's interesting about it is that you you know Blade Runner is more of a like a. Uh, uh, are machines really any different than us kind of story? Oh, and all that in the jazz. 80s, so I can answer that question right now. Yes! <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's how I feel, too. I, the way that I, if we're going to mention that really quick, the, the kind of, like, theory that I always like to go with is the um, Terminator 2 one with, uh, if I take the direct quote, I know now why you cry, but it is something I can never do. Like, I, I feel like machines, if they ever become that adept, they could understand us, but personally, I don't think they could ever feel the emotion, you know? The thing, this may sound a bit odd. If we ever get computers that are, are robotic AI intelligences, that are intelligent enough to understand and feel human emotions, I will consider it a person. Uh -huh. So the fact yeah. it's manufactured, I think that's a person. If yes. it understands but cannot feel, it is a machine. Yes, yes. I don't care like, I don't like care if it thinks for thing. itself. I don't care if it's logical. If it under if it can comprehend but not experience, it is a machine. Yes, yes. We are in some relatively deep territory for what I <laughs> right was thinking about talking about in this video. <laughs> I know, seriously. We we've gone on all sorts of tangents. Oh god, get away from us, spike cans, man. I don't like him. Um oh, no. But, uh, oh shoot, what was I? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, I, I had um, Blade Runner slash Do Android Stream of Electronic Sheep. The interesting thing about Do Android Stream of Electronic Sheep, and I like this topic more, and that might be part of why I like the book more, but the book is actually an environmental story. Uh, oh my god, did you just get that? Fuck. I hate environmental stories. It's so well You're done. You're killing though. the planet! Oh, fuck. It's it, trust me. It's it's not like that at all. Like it's it's not freaking. Sure, fern sure gully. it's not. Are you sure it's not fern gully. <laughs> <laughs> I like how we both said the exact same thing. It's it's absolutely brilliant. It's one of my favorite books of all time. Um, because like. Oh shit, dude! You know those yellow guys with spiky hands? They're friendly. Are they friendly? I was wondering why he was just staring you in the eyes. Can yeah, you see him as a yellow guy with spiky eyes? Or were you just saying what I said? Yeah, I'm just I'm just saying what you said. They don't, I know oh, they don't okay. look, they look different to me. Um, Damn it. <laughs> but, um... At least I think they do. It could just be that we're both describing them really badly, which would be hilarious. <laughs> uh -huh. if, just, if it's just our ability to... It's just if, if they look weird, so when we look at them, we describe them in different ways. Or we both have, like, gone completely insane or something and don't even know what we're talking about. I um, think a rabbit that bleats is quite an uh, uh, apt description for what I'm seeing, so there's no way in hell that... <laughs> I just want to mention something really quick. Um, us talking about... Fucking poison. PC versus consoles went to a freaking like, ethical debate about robots. Yeah, about fucking robo- uh, robo-ethics. Was... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like... Because really, we're clearly really qualified to talk about that. <laughs> I... That's a, that's the beauty of the internet, man. It's Nobody's just, qualified like, to talk about anything, but everyone acts like they are. It's like, you know? you're, at a, you're at a university or something of that sort, right? A college. Uh, you mean university just saying, like, a college, not a university seem themed about robo-ethics. Y yeah, just, just, a, just a college. Okay, yes. Okay, you know what's hilarious about this? What? You're more well-educated than me. Bear in mind you're talking to a, to a guy who, um, dropped out, who dropped out, um, who... Well, uh, you the said end that our systems education. are different too, I mean, right? Hmm? You said that our systems are different though, right? Yeah, like, but the, what your university is, um, or what your colleges are, are what we call universities. What we call colleges are kind of essentially kind of like, almost like the end of high school, I think. Mm-hmm. Um, at least in terms of the age group, so you are more educated than me because I dropped out. Hmm. <laughs> um... What? Well, take that with a grain of salt, because I'm a horrible student. What do you, <laughs> what do you study? I am and have always been. I, I'm, I'm in, uh, my, my, um, major is called, uh, Integrated Media Arts. Basically, it's just like a kind of, uh, media marketing tech I te mix. Take that back. That, that course has got to be actively making you dumber. <laughs> <laughs> but it's ain't a, like it's that. It's gotta be actively they making you dumb. <laughs> Basically, like, 
I don't know, it's the only thing that fits me, you know? Ooh, more tomatoes, we need those! Fuck Start you. playing whack-a-mole with an evil purple cultist. <laughs> with an evil purple cultist? Yeah, I found a base that has one of the- that has those and the- those spiky things that you love so much. <gasps> yes! Oh my god, I need some of those to put next to my bed. So yeah, there's one over here. Just Let me grab those, please. I'll be there momentarily. Mm -hmm. Is it a full-on base or just like a single it, home? It, it's a hut. Ah, that's unfortunate. At least we found some civilization on this island. Or boss. island. No, I, I don't know what I'm talking I about. I think there's- I think- is that a boss monster or is that just a rabbit? Nah, it's just a rabbit. Uh, also, I've got- uh, I've got a present for you that you have to promise to eat right now. Oh no. Is it like a shit stick have, or something? You have to pr promise- to, promise you will attempt to eat it. Okay. Um, oh god. A rotten apple. Let, first, just in case I just die. In case you die, let me get grab your fucking all these. Saw <laughs> 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 Okay, there we go. I am starving to death, so. God, it's got a freaking worm coming out of it. Mm -hmm. This is gonna be awful. Oh god, my eyes are going crazy. Did you see that? Yes. <laughs> like, How's your health? I seem to be doing okay. Okay. But I don't know how long that will last. I kind of got a feeling my health, like a, my my robo body is gonna deteriorate very shortly. My like I'll start to malfunction and go insane or something like that. My robo body. Um, my robo body. My robo body. <laughs> um, and fuck it. Okay, no, fuck it. Okay, fuck the robo ethics. Fuck education. PC gaming. Yes. So, back to the topic. So, yeah. Um, uh, speaking of someone who spent a lot of time as a as a console gamer, like and that's it. And still, even though I consider myself a PC gamer, um, I still play consoles from time to time. Um, mm -hmm. it's mostly old consoles. <laughs> it's mostly my PlayStation Two more than anything else. Um, I just generally think that the PC is the best platform. I think it's got. I, I, personally, I think that's a without a doubt because it has the most accessibility to everything. Um, as long as you've got an engine that runs everything. The I only say. problem, the only problem with PC I can see, is that it's number one. Well, number one, it's more expensive out outright, you know, up front. Yes. Um. Oh my God! How do you? Oh, there's a treasure chest there. God damn you! <laughs> I get you get a wizard hat. I get freaking flower petals. I hate you so much right now. If I, I was wondering why you went quiet. <laughs> they turn around. <laughs> Motherfucker's got a hat. I know. Seriously, <laughs> if you if you ever find a freaking um banana not banana hat uh Stop strawberry it. hat again, make sure to give it to me. No, if I, I find a strawberry hat, I'm giving you the wizard hat, and I'm wearing the strawberry hat because the uh oh you are in all red. That's the right. strawberry hat matches my flesh. I'm going back to base since night is falling. Since night is falling. Right, gathers. I know me watch begins. I shall not end. Tell me death. Oh god, we're practically at 28 minutes, so I'm gonna quickly give like my side of oh, the bugger. whole issue. Um, Apparently, my friend. It's a funny thing for me because actually like going way, way back to where I started. I actually started a PC gamer play, but it, that was like time when I was playing like Roller Coaster Tycoon, Putt Putt, and um, oh, I and Riven. It. Believe it or not, I played Roller Coaster Tycoon. I love Roller Coaster Tycoon, it's so good. Do you fire people into a lake? I fire people. Yes, basically I kill people. <laughs> like, that's what Roller Coaster Tycoon is for me. Uh, free, free murder spree. People. Um, <laughs> they make creative fun rides, but then on top of that... Shoot free. people into a lake! Yeah, yeah, murder everyone. I would take all of my workers who were being really stupid AI and not going to repair a ride, and I would throw them into, into a, a lake, lake. for like... For a couple of minutes, then take them back out. Be like, did you learn your lesson? Did you learn your lesson? You gonna yeah, go yeah, fix no, the ride right now? <laughs> um, but yeah, after that, that monster there is look, looks really weird for me. Um, like? he's got like a sick beard, but um, Mine? but after that, that that's when I went to consoles. Once I got a bit earlier, with um, actually back way way in my in my huge youth, like when I first started gaming, I was a bit of. I was a mix. I was PC, and uh, with my Sega Dreamcast and uh, Sega Genesis. But I don't know. B basically, I I think consoles are not to be n n not to say that this is bad or anything. But I think consoles is definitely something that's better for the youth. You know, 
Um, it's like it, it's like your first. It, it's it's a it's the way to get introduced to gaming and stuff like that. And and they are freaking amazing, even even as you get older. But I think you reach a point where like PC is the way to go because it's just so much more accessible. Swear to God, has I'm more games all around and. Um, swear to God, sometimes I want to fucking kill my sister. Your sister? Yeah, she just she could. Talking in kind of speech pattern, she went. Ethan, you need to sort out the dogs. I was like, oh fuck. <laughs> well, uh, good. Uh, I didn't hear any of that on my side, so. Hopefully, it won't come through in the video. But oh, good god. Okay, so to sum pop, up, pop, pop. sum up my PC gaming over console gaming. Uh, <clears throat> PCs more than. But in general, the games tend to be a hell of a lot cheaper. It has more, you know. Yeah, especially if you use Steam. Get like a sixty dollar game for five bucks. It's back catalog forever. You will never You will there is a way to get every game working on PC. Yeah. Every yeah. single one. So it's got an eternal back catalog. Always it will be able to run just about any game. It has more exclusives than any other platform. Most of its games tend to be insanely cheap compared to the games. Uh, and uh, on top of that, especially if it's indie, most exclusives come to PC later on anyways. Yeah, yeah. And then there's also the fact that um, PC has one great thing in that mod, mod, mods and fixes and tweaks. Dark Souls would have been fucked if... In the oh, yeah. PCs. yeah Dark Souls but PCs been are mod modded, and now, it's, and now the PC version's better than the fucking console. <laughs> Dark Souls 1. <laughs> That's one reason why I really want to get Fallout 3 someday for, for Mac, because I love that game. Or consoles, I mean, uh, PC, I should say. Yeah. Because you... I, I love that game so much, and I want to mod if it. You get like a game, if you get a game in PC, here, New Vegas Game of the Year, uh, Ultimate Edition, and Fallout 3, both on Steam, and then get the Tale of Two Wastelands mod. Uh-huh, okay, Tale yeah. of Two Wastelands. Because the Tale of Two Wastelands mod imports... Fallout 3 into Fallout New Vegas and makes the two of them. Oh, I remember you telling me about that, and it sounds goddamn sick. Yeah, it's great. It, it really is it's great. I mean, it's in its alpha right now, I think, but still though, it's pretty good. It's a bit buggy, but it's it's oh, it's great. Uh huh. We'll, we'll have to talk about how that works either in the next video or um or outside of the video because I think we should probably call it here, being at 32 minutes. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, as always, thank you all for watching. Um, as always, I've been chilling here with me. <laughs> so gloomy. It's like uh, it's like my outros <laughs> just bring back like your your like trauma. You're my, uh, my dead mother. <laughs> oh no. All I can hear is her dying. Thanks, egg. I I Thanks, didn't mean egg. to. You I didn't can't. mean to. I didn't know my outros were so close and dear to your heart, but, um... <laughs> <laughs> I'll try to fix that later on, so, yes. Once again, thank you all for watching! I'll see you guys next time. Get the fuck out.